Day three of the draft for the New Orleans Saints ended up involving three fifth-round picks and a seventh-round pick. And those fifth-rounders all reside on the defensive side of the ball, starting with outside linebacker Davis Tull from Chattanooga. Tull was projected to perhaps go in the third round but fell all the way to the fifth. But just like when Division I schools didn't come calling for him out of high school and he went to Chattanooga, it's all just motivation for Tull. I think all of the... Um... All the things that have happened in my life and my football career up to this point have, have built that chip, and uh, it's like it gives me extra motivation and, and, and helps me play with that extra edge. So, so I think at the, at the end of the day, it's, it's all helped me. Just six picks later, they took nose tackle Tyler Davison from Fresno State. He was first team Mountain West last year, where he had eight and a half sacks. So he's the rare nose tackle who not only eats up space, he also eats up quarterbacks. You don't want to be a, a one-trick pony, you know what I'm saying? You, you want to be good at everything that you do. So, you know, I, I feel like, you know, a lot of people attach the stigma to nose guards that they can't, you know, get after the, the, the quarterback. And I think that you, you can't find that mindset. The Saints moved up to the 167th pick to get Damian Swan, a cornerback out of Georgia. After spending time covering SEC wide receivers, he feels ready to make the move to the NFC South. You know, I'm pretty, pretty sure a lot of those guys that I played against that I was able to compete against, you know, they prepared me for that. You know, and, and I just got to take care of, you know, my part, you know, whether it's in the field room, the weight room, you know, being, being that guy that's going to be, that's going to be them to go out and compete. Finally, the Saints took Missouri running back Marcus Murphy with their seventh round pick. All told, the nine picks for the Saints were the most since 2002. Some will possibly make an immediate impact. Some will learn under a Hall of Fame quarterback. But a common denominator for all of them? Character. Coming into this draft, I know Sean has uh, talked about it. We've talked about an awful lot about reemphasizing um, you know, the character, the intelligence, the toughness, productivity. So now that the draft is done, the team will get to see the fruits of their labor in two weeks. That's when the new Saints will congregate here for rookie camp. At the Saints facility in Metairie, Paul Boron for CST.